Hey y'all, it's Willis here. Just uh, wanted to follow up on the Building Home Lab video that I posted up a couple of weeks ago and just want to show you uh, where we're up to right now. So uh, what we're looking at here is uh, VMware Workstation Pro uh, which is what I'm using to virtualize all my machines. And now you can use other uh, virtualization applications or platforms as well and uh, so some of them that are free I believe is like VirtualBox um, and then there's also others that you can use. Uh, Windows uh, itself has uh, Hyper-V as well um, but what I've done is I've got VMware Workstation Pro uh, that's because I'm running Windows 10 on this home lab uh, and the idea being that in addition to setting up a home lab for uh, IT virtual machines I'm also using it for my photography and creative cloud stuff as well and so you can use whatever platform you feel like but um, I'm working with VMware and just so you can have a look here so I've got um, two templates that I've set up um, and these are gold master uh, images and I'll show you why they're quite useful and just to give you a quick idea of um, the machines I've built out so far um, so I've got a home lab and so I've got a couple, a couple of virtual machines here. So the first one, the most important one, is the Home Lab DC, which is the domain controller. I've also set up another virtual machine for the SQL Server. Uh, the next one up is a client, and I've got this set up for Windows 10, um, so that's quite useful. Uh, I've also got another one that I've just set up for SharePoint, and I've built another server here for applications. Um, in addition, I've also got a gateway set up um, running pfSense and then finally I've also set up a file server as well um, so I'll go through each of those in other videos but I just wanted to show you uh, the gold master which will be quite useful now you're probably wondering uh, whether or not how you go about getting licensed copies of uh, Windows Server and Windows Client and what you can do is you can download them for free from Microsoft as an evaluation and the evaluation is for about 180 days or so, so that gives you more than enough time to build your home lab, test the machines, and then uh, if you want, um, then you can just destroy them once they're finished. And that's why building a gold master um, makes it really easy to be able to deploy. So as you can see, I've got about five or six um, server virtual machines, but I've only had to build that once. And so what I've done is I've built a gold master, and uh, VMware allows you to build it quite easily. So what you do is you build a new virtual machine, and what you do, so you go create new virtual machine and it brings up the little wizard here and then you just go custom and then click next and then hardware compatibility is for VMware Workstation 14 which is the version that I'm currently using um, and then it'll ask you for the operating system that you want to use and normally you would uh, use the ISO that you've downloaded for Windows Server or Windows 10 or Windows 7 whatever it is that you've got now for this option just select I will install the operating system later and then you can add that um, afterwards and then you select the version of the operating system that you're using so we'll go Windows and Windows Server 2016 if you download that from the Microsoft site uh, you give it a name as well so in this case I'd probably give it like a GM for Gold Master or something like that just so I know that this is like the, the master template that I'm going to use uh, to build all my other virtual machines and you click next just keep on going and then you assign the amount of cores and processes so on this Ryzen 7 I've got two processes which I can assign if I wish but I normally just go with one and then you can also assign the amount of cores and because this is an 8 core uh, 16 thread I can assign up to 16 cores for this processor um, but normally I would just go for two or so and go next and then you can allocate how much memory that you wish to choose um, and there's a bit of a limitation depending on how many virtual machines you have running and, um, and how much uh, maximum RAM that you have as well. So something like 2 gig or even like uh, what was it, 4 or 9, 6, 4 gig is, I think is quite reasonable for your virtual machine. And for your network connection, for the, for the time being, for your master image, now what you want to do is use network address translation or NAT. And what this does is it uses the uh, the uh, host network of the the virtual machine host that you've got um, so that way it can connect to the internet and this is quite useful for when you're building out your master image because you can use it to grab windows updates and whatnot and then later on 
once you start building out your virtual images, then you'd actually create like a custom uh, network uh, that is uh, a, like a custom private network. Go next, and then just click next, and next again. And you want to create a new virtual disk, which is fine. Um, then you can allocate the size, and it depends on how big of a hard drive you have available for it. Um, 60 gigs is sort of okay. I normally go with 80. And then what I also do is I'll store the virtual disk as a single file as well. And then that creates like the, uh, this is the virtual machine disk file that it will create. And you click next. And then once you're done, you can just click finish and it will create that for you. So I've already done that and you can see I've got this one here, the gold master. And if I go look at the settings, let me have a look. Oh, here it is. Uh, you can see here, so I've got four gigs, two processors, or two cores, um, 80 gig hard drive, and then I've set up like the custom network as well. And then, uh, now, if it, when you're ready to turn this into a, uh, a template, I'll show you quickly how you do it, um, but in another video, I'll show you what you can do to prepare that image um, to be a master image. And so you, what you do is right click, go settings, and then you go options, and then there is, where is it? Oh, it's in advanced, and then there's an enable template mode, and then you can use that for cloning. And that means that when you're ready to clone another, uh, to create like another virtual machine, so let's try one here, so I go create, manage, clone, and then this takes you through the process of creating, so it's going to use this existing snapshot of this master template, and you can create a linked clone, which uh, references the original master template. So if you delete that, then this stops working, or you can create a full clone. And because I've got enough hard disk space on my home lab, I can just create a full clone. And you click next, and then I might just give this one a proper name. So say home lab, and then uh, what else do I need? Uh, let's have like an instant messenger server. And I go finish. And then VMware goes through the process of creating this workstation. And then once you boot it up, um, it's all ready to go and you can just sign in, uh, rename it, give it an IP address, that sort of thing. So this is just a quick nutshell of how to set up your master template uh, for your uh, virtual machines that you'll be creating in the future. And in future videos, I'll show you uh, the next one is how to actually build this template in terms of installing Windows and actually preparing Windows so that it can be cloned. Um, after that, then I'll show you some of the other servers that I've sort of been building and testing out um, sort of thing. So my intention is that I'll have a SQL server for all my databases. I'm going to build a on-premise version of SharePoint 2016. Um, I'll have an application server for various miscellaneous applications. I've been looking at Atlassian's uh, Confluence and also their service desk just to see what's out there. Um, I'll also show you how to build a file server and a gateway using PFSense which works quite well um, and also uh, more importantly I guess with the very first server that you're going to build in your lab is a domain controller and how you can set up Active Directory uh, in a pretty easy way. So thanks for watching and uh, if you like it um, you know, like or subscribe. If you have any questions, uh, just you know, leave a comment for me. Thanks. Bye.